Hello everybody, I am Cyrus Hojati. Today is December the 11th, 2018. I'm doing a response video to Gary Galeno and again, I'm not trying to attack Gary Galeno. He's done a lot of great things, but yet again, I think in a lot of cases he's been very pessimistic and he's not been accurate in a lot of things. In addition to not being accurate on his views on urban planning, you know, he seems to believe that cars are freedom and transit is tyranny, which is not really true, it, it, depending on how you look at it. I do think that the self-driving car is going to offer some freedom. I do think that transit, depending on what it is, can offer mobility. And I do believe that car culture is a lot of it done by government control. And I think he needs to talk about it. But I also believe he's been pretty pessimistic about the immigration situation. And he did this video attacking Trump regarding the whole idea that somehow Trump is not enforcing the law and he's selling out to his people. Now, before I begin about Donald Trump, I just want to point out I've never publicly endorsed him that I've ever mentioned in my YouTube channel. Now, I've supported many of his ideas, particularly his merit-based immigration system to reduce the number of green cards into the U.S. And I have admired some of the things he's done. But of course, I am aware of the possibility that he might be a controlled opposition tool. And I'm aware a lot of people say, oh, he's part of the Jesuits, the Zionists, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, this is why I don't trust a lot of these politicians and candidates. But let's just respond to this Gary Galeno video level in over a decade. In 2016, we elected Republicans to control all three branches of the government. Okay, so highest level in over a decade. I just looked at the numbers. It's comparable to 2014. And it's not all-time highs. It's actually, believe it or not, levels that are still well below the late 1990s levels. And in two years, all we got is tax cuts for America's largest corporations. Wait, wait, wait. I thought many of the largest corporations don't pay in taxes. And many of them pay way below the 35%. So what is it really? I really think that tax cut really affected smaller companies and middle class people. Because I got benefits too, believe it or not. That's it. They wasted the last opportunity they are ever going to have where they are going to have this much power. When the Democrats controlled all three branches of the government from 2008 to 2010, they passed Obamacare. And guess what? We still have Obamacare. And all it takes is an act of Congress to start funding it again. I know. John McCain, but they should be holding a vote every week on this until it's repealed. But they don't. But if they do, how will that make a difference? Because the people in Congress has not changed, you see. And plus they have other issues to talk about. So again, it, 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 it's kind of like literally knocking on the door and not getting any result. <laughs> We elect the Republicans to control all three branches of the government. And by the way, they did get rid of the insurance and the, the tax penalty. Keep that in mind. So that is progress. And Trump did get some things done on trade. He did, however, not sign into the UN Migration Pact. He did, however, increase the number of deportations. He is actually going after the public charge rule and many people on the left are speaking out and very few of the migrant caravan that is in right now actually got in and many of them have given up. So Gary Galeno, I think he's really pessimistic in my opinion. And illegal immigration is hitting all time records. Do you know why this is? It's because of what I have been saying for the last year. The same thing that causes me to lose dozens of subscribers every time I say it. 
President Trump is not enforcing immigration. Stop blaming the Democrats when the GOP controls the entire government. Trump is not engaging in interior enforcement. Don't believe me? Here's what's going on all over the country. Okay, so basically, like I just showed you, the levels are not at 1990s levels, and I've just given you a lot of uh, statements, and I'll show you some links that prove otherwise. Okay, so let's go further ahead in the video because I want to go back to his last point. They're going to be murdered by the people they teamed up with to make all this happen. The only way to save our country is to end the demographic shift that is happening and remove tens of millions of illegal aliens who currently reside in the country. But Trump never intended to do anything on immigration, and we're pretty much screwed. Texas goes blue in... Okay, so he does have a good point. These illegal immigrants and other legal immigrants are not voting on the sides of truly of Americans. And I'm going to show you some not so pleasing news. I'll do another video about this. So you can see here the recent reports coming about Las Vegas proves that in Clark County we've seen an, a number of people from California, which Gary Galeno constantly criticizes, and a lot of them Latinos, which we assume that they are from California, are moving into Las Vegas. And this is very, very alarming because I will show you this article right here, believe it or not. This is from the propaganda report from John Ralstein stating that in this article, perceived hostility towards Latinos or many trying to vote. You can see here all these activists out there saying that obviously we want to feel safe. So we're going to support individuals like Jackie Rosen and obviously Steve Sisson. So how can you feel cautious? And, you know, you claim that you're a U.S. citizen. How does that actually make sense? I mean, if you're a U.S. citizen, you shouldn't feel in fear. You see how this conflicts? But then again, what my point is, is that you, you have to keep in mind that it is very likely that these immigrants, legal or not, are not voting in the best interest of the American people. And I just want to go further ahead in the video. 2020 or 2024. So there you go, folks. We have a few really good years left in America. So enjoy it while it lasts. Or if you're wise, start fighting now before it's too late. And that's what I've told a lot of people. We have all these French revolutions and riots happening all over Europe. This is what I'm telling a lot of people here locally and nationally. Get out there, fight, protest, let's start events, let's report, let's crowd town halls. But unfortunately, the blind eye by many American people thinking it's the next election, go and vote, these candidates care for you, but look at history and look at the results, look at their donors. Overall, they don't care about you. All right, this is what's going to have to happen. We're going to have to stand up, rise back, and demand a mass exodus of people. Now, let's just go further ahead. Nevada, did you hear that, folks? You're already seeing this in the results of the midterm elections. I just showed you the articles. What does it take for you guys all to stand up and finally make a difference? Get your you-know-whats out of your couches, speak to your neighbors, take to the streets, and demand and make a difference. Demand that these casinos and these construction industries start hiring American citizens first. Demand these illegals to stop clogging your public school systems. Demand your people start speaking English very well. Stand up and make a difference because don't think that these bozo politicians are going to make a difference and these elections really matter. Take care. Spread this video. Latinos voting, of Latinos organizing, 
of Latinos becoming citizens in record numbers 